Okay, welcome. So uh, I just did a problem, the previous problem that I did. I liked it because there's like there's no factors for the last term. And then I go to this problem, I'm like, ah, 24. It's not the worst number, but there's just so many different other possibilities that we can go through. So remember, to solve by factoring, what we want to do is take the factors of negative 24, see what in two numbers, two factors, multiply to give you negative 24, but then also give add us to negative 10. Now remember, if we're looking at two factors, if we have two numbers that are going to multiply to give us negative 24, one of those numbers has to be negative. Now, before we start writing down all the factors of negative 24, let's look at the middle term. And since the middle term is negative, remember, we're going to add that we multiply the two factors to give us negative 24, but then we add them to get our coefficient of our middle term. Now, if we're adding those two factors and they add to give us a negative number, that means the larger of the two factors has to be negative. So let me go over what I'm talking about. So if I have 24, well, we know it's 24 times 1. Right? But again, to multiply to give us negative 24, one of these has to be negative. Well, since my middle term is negative, I know the larger of the two have to be negative. Now, this is not correct because negative 24 plus 1 does not give us negative 10. So let's go ahead and continue. The next factor I could do would be negative 12 times 2. Again, I'm always choosing the larger factor to be negative because I know the middle term is negative. And actually, you can see right here, negative 12 times 2, that ends up working. Uh, we can just continue on, though. Just so you can kind of see, all right, that's, that's it. And none of those are going to add us to give us to negative 10. Even though 6 and 4 add the 10, that's negative, that's positive. That gives us negative 2. So now to solve this, I set it equal to 0. And now I can say that uh, x minus 12 times x plus 2. So I just take, write my two factors in there. Now I can apply my 0 product property. So I can say x plus 0 or x plus minus 12 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. Then I solve. So x equals 12. x equals negative 2. Excuse me. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your quadratic. Thanks.